it's Ocean Sims and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be looking at about 15 functional objects that are going to enhance your gameplay. So for those of you that don't really like huge, huge mods and you just want something to kind of like add a little flavor, a little seasoning to your game, this is the perfect video for you because um, I could not have any mods and at least just have these functional objects and still feel like my game is more realer than it originally is. I want to start here in the kitchen because this is where like the magic happens for me and my game. This is where I have the most fun, just kidding. But I really love the kitchen. So let's just jump right and uh, every top mod list is going to have uh, these two objects. It is going to be the Oni's Food Mod by Oni and then also uh, Granny's Old Cookbook. I love these food mods and I'm not going to go like too heavy into them because I have done two separate videos for them which I will also link down below in the description and in the comments in the pin comments. These are just functional objects. Uh, Oni's food mod is actually a grocery bag from the Cottage Living pack but you do not need Cottage Living to download this mod. Granny's old cookbook is just the cookbook and it comes in different swatches. I don't know why my game is lacking right now but we're just gonna ignore it because it'll fix itself. Hopefully please fingers crossed. I love this mod because what it's going to do is just add more recipes for your sims to make. You don't have to download any other additional mods for this to work. You only have to download the objects and then the recipes that you choose to have your sims cook. So I think it's just super duper cool. These are just the recipes I currently have. I could download more, but these are just the ones that I want. So I went ahead and cheated up her cooking because all of my recipes weren't showing up. So if we go back to meals um, in Granny's cookbook, look at how many more meals were just unlocked. It goes by this skill. So it's just like the recipes in game and it's just really really seamless everything looks really good um, with Oni's food mod there are a lot of uh, recipes like spam musubi and uh, just different type of like recipes that are different than the granny's cookbook mod and so that's why I keep them both interchange interchangeably I need to speak a little slower like Ami rice I think that's super awesome and the presentation for each of these mods um, is just simply beautiful so that's definitely number one here she just made a single serving of uh, some fettuccine alfredo which is hilarious she's only made some for herself selfish next I want to talk about some toasters these are toasters that I got from around the sims 4 they do come in additional swatches I love this toaster because it's like bright has some really cute colors to go with it they are so realistic looking so I'm gonna use it I think for this one you had to download the uh, recipes that you wanted uh, so you didn't have to it's not like a pack or anything you have to have all this stuff I think you can choose um, but the cool thing is I can make waffles bringing it back to sims three days where we could make some waffles guys oh man i missed her <laughs> i missed her getting the waffles and the welcome wagon is here now they're gonna hate me because i'm gonna cancel this this always happens to me all right we totally missed her getting her waffles but what's gonna happen is you just hit use toaster and say i hit toast she's actually just going to get this out of the refrigerator um so the only downfall is that although it's really cool because we can have toasted uh items you're not really toasting it see she's just she's just gonna get it out of the refrigerator and eat it but look at that toast okay that toast is shining looks like someone put some butter on it it looks really nice and maxis match and it doesn't look forced okay it looks very natural and i'm glad that sims can have waffles now i mean there's no syrup but it's something okay she is now facing some of these drinks in here these are actual actually drinkable objects so you will find these objects in build mode and you can actually just simply drink them so we do have an adult beverage here um, but i do have some sodas and some sparkling water for her it says that this drink um, makes her focus the soda will make you temporarily energized and this cold drink will make uh, your sim confident so this is from around the sims 4 as well you just find it in build mode you can choose whichever drink you want and it comes in several different swatches and it's cool because your sims can just you know have a have a nice little similar version of a pepsi or a orange soda there we go <laughs> the bottle went in the middle of her forehead but now she is very focused it says focused by potion so it kind of registers it as a potion but it's cool because like it's realism you know at the same time so i'm gonna have her put these little drinks away and go ahead and go to the next thing i want to show you heading back to the kitchen i have one of my favorite uh mods this is the cupcake factory replacement so if you originally want to make cupcakes uh you'd have to get that humongous humongous um 
cupcake machine and that is just so extra and I never use that and I have no interest in unlocking that or just whatever the case may be I don't want it so Ravishine has actually made this cute little piping bag <laughs> of frosting that basically lets your sim bake all the recipes and it comes in two variations you can uh, cook cupcakes from this little sprinkles bag or from right here so it's kind of awesome because she can just make cupcakes and it's super duper out of the way let's make some red velvet really quick i had to move some things around the kitchen because we're getting a, we're getting a little too packed in here so now she can bake these cupcakes cupcakes are finally in the oven and our cat is on the counter ignore <laughs> ignore our cat right here yes and look how delicious these look look at these cupcakes okay they look amazing so moving on to some awesome kitchen appliances we do have a rice cooker which i don't really use for a lot of the other recipes that are here I really just wanted um, like you can make onigiri from here and a poke bowl which is super cool red beans and rice but I just use it for the simple white rice as a side dish I've been doing that lately for my sims off cam because I use my rice cooker every single day and that's not me joking the equivalent of her putting the rice in was that coffee animation of sims making coffee it's still cooking still cooking <laughs> it's still cooking it's not ready yet if you click on it and it doesn't say anything it's not ready yet it says four left it is now done four servings of rice she can go ahead and grab a serving the rice stays in the cooker just like a true you know rice cooker i eat rice with every meal breakfast lunch and dinner so i love rice sorry i needed it it's a must have for me joanna is now uh, eating her rice and uh, drinking her tea which she made from this personal brewer so this is awesome it's by rava sheen it is a sleeker much beautiful version of uh, the coffee maker anti brewer because this can brew coffee and it can also brew tea which i love it is multi purposeful and functional and i love that all in one so you don't have to get a coffee maker and a tea brewer okay like you can just have one and that's why it's a must have and i love the color swatches that it comes in because they're just nice kind of reminds me of the keurig for sure i love this like soft color right here it's so cute also with the rice cooker i didn't go over the swatches but here you go for that as well i'm trying not to go over the swatches because these are objects and we'd be here all day the next thing is this toddler drink warmer which is awesome for toddlers you can prepare a toddler drink um, you can basically give them those little tiny pouches which is why I downloaded it for and also the little toddler cups because they're cuter than the ones that they have in the game but I'm going to choose a banana strawberry pouch when my kids were young and cute Adorable, had chunky little toes i used to buy them those things and they love them what did she do with the pouch oh it looks like she put the pouch right here sorry guys we had to go get the baby <laughs> had to go get the baby really quick come drink this little pouch all right so she's drinking it you see this so cute and it has a gerber bb on it Daphne thinks this is cool and delicious and she is enjoying it girlfriend she is just she loves it so her hunger went up a little bit so it's basically the equivalent of your toddler eating a snack this is the Lamazon mod by rava sheen it is basically going to be like an amazon type of thing where you can purchase anything anything literally anything from this. It says the Lamazon membership card makes shopping easy by giving you immediate access to our extensive catalog. It has everything a sim could ever need. Shop from anywhere and get products delivered directly to your inventory. So it's kind of awesome because even if you own a retail store or something, this is kind of like convenient if you need to order products for your like store or whatever. I haven't used it for that reason yet, but I was just thinking like, you know, that would be kind of cool. So we go to the wellness um, section, for instance. If you have a vampire, you can order some plasma packs boom and it will be in your inventory let's go to ingredients and produce so let's just say we go to grocery and you don't want to pay for a grocery delivery or go to um and from bagley to the grocery stall or something you can get yourself some conserves and tomato sauce whatever the case may be and it'll be right there in your sims inventory just ready to go she can eat the tomato sauce if she likes and there we are eating tomato sauce um we're hitting collectibles one thing i love about this is that you can go to natural collectibles there are a lot of collectibles here and for someone that doesn't really collect in the sims 4 if you're just you know needing these for a specific reason boom they're all right here like everything that's in this game is mostly here um you can buy pet food recipes from here go to 
gardening let's see go to flower arrangement you can actually purchase a flower arrangement i totally missed it but uh the flower arrangement was actually sitting on the ground and uh yeah i just moved it here but i think it was pretty cool i thought it was going to be in her inventory but it actually was just sitting there on the ground and i just picked it up the next functional object that i love are these uh air quotes picnic baskets that you can basically fill and pack food with. I have Joanna making some fruit salad so that she can put this in the cooler. These function like how the picnic baskets function in cottage living, um, except they are just a different object completely, but they function the same. So you can pretend that your sim is packing some Tupperware, a cooler, or even a lunchbox. I did get the lunchbox as well. I think it's cute because you can pack your kid's sandwich in here. So I put a serving of fruit salad in my inventory and let's just say we we want to pack the lunchbox for our kiddo we can hit the fruit salad and then boom if we click open the fruit salad will be there if i don't mess with it boom there we go it's already in there and then uh nicholas can put this lunchbox in his inventory or you could just drag it like you don't really have to click the interaction i love this because like what if you're not a picnic basket person and you just want your you know you want it to feel realistic oh he already unpacked his fruit salad so it's just really cool one of my other favorite functional mods is this mood candle by charlie pancakes obviously it functions like any other candle as far as lighting is concerned but the really cool thing about it is that these candles have emotional auras because they can change a sim's mood so if i go to these candles right now i am um burning basil and mint which actually gives you a i think it's a happy mood lit so as you can see here the ginger and tobacco one is going to give a stressful aura <laughs> aura and then the blue one is going to give a depressing aura and the oh my goodness the cayenne and patchouli is going to give enraging um ooh, and this pomegranate and sage is going to give a playful aura so i'm just going to place those down before i cover my whole table with candles and if i enable the emotional aura of this one right here because they're all just lit like regular candles and i come over here she's literally probably look boom playful <laughs> she's playful so i can disable that and unfortunately i hate to do this to her but if i enable this emotional aura she is going to be sad so if you need your sim to be focused or if you need them to be confident um flirty you can light a candle which i feel like it's true candles out of everything definitely uh dictate a mood especially for me like sometimes before i film for you guys i light a candle and i set the mood okay i really do next i want you to take your attention to the plum phone now this is actually a piece a portion of the plum fruit mod i did an entire uh mod review on this as well which i can also link down below too i love everything that comes in the plum fruit mod but the plum phone is why i need this mod i like to keep the phone in the sims inventory because if you click on the sim you can also access the phone features and the main reason why i want to talk about this mod is for the new new feature on the actual um, phone which is love to meet so if we create a dating profile welcome to the love to meet online dating map app <laughs> we are very happy to welcome you on this platform that allows you to meet other sims worldwide whether you'd like to meet new friends or maybe your future life partner this app is made for you so then your sim is going to create an account and they're actually going to like literally take a picture right then and there and so i'm just gonna have her like take a pretend photo and if we head back to love to meet we can change our profile picture we can meet other women online we can also meet men online excuse me and it's going to pull up like almost every sim and it's, it's gonna pull up every every sim <laughs> every sim i love this though because you literally can just meet sims without having to actually go out in the real world it sounds a lot like how we live nowadays and you can meet someone online which is not always the safest but it's the sims so i'm not trying to say that but you can meet them online and then they will show up in your relationship panel like right now she's talking to holly alto and they can be friends and she can then go meet her somewhere instead of like having to go out and make friends you know you can make your friends here and then plan out your fun elsewhere in the world i find it so convenient especially like when i'm trying to story tell and just have my sims find someone to be friends with without actually having to find the sim that i made specifically to be their friend if you know what i mean oh no our cat is sick right in the middle we are almost done guys we're almost done we're almost done the next mod is by ravishin and is the photographic memory maker um this is a functional object that is going to allow you to edit your photo memories and uh, do so many <laughs> things with your photos it is a complete photo overhaul and i also have a separate video if you want like a more in-depth 
um, how to and how to use this object. Just like some of the other objects, it comes to different variations. I like the flash drive because it just, you know, looks up to date, but there is a floppy disk for my old heads out there that know what a floppy disk is. You can access the same features that I'm about to show you with the floppy disk, or you can access it with the old fashioned camera, which is kind of a cute touch as well. You can label a photo storage so I can say uh, my hex. I'm just like quickly. <laughs> just to show you because I made a whole video on it so I'm like ah but now it's called my fix uh das dada like whatever that probably means something is simlish and photo studio welcome to the photo studio we can create some photo gifts uh we can improve photo quality and any of the pictures that are blurry or if they have the gnome in the way and stuff like that or it's like has the thumb in the photo you can actually fix it and remove it it's so cool so helpful for sims with low photography skill as well but let's just go to create photo gifts really quick and let's just say polaroid and i will choose this photo um and now it is in our inventory it is going to be marked blank boom the Polaroid is right there and it looks adorable. Now you can customize this print. You can add a mood lit. So say this makes me happy. Boom. I can, you know, it makes me happy. So I can recall the happy moment and she's like, ah, instantly super happy. And now she has a mood buff that says happy memory from reminiscing about a memory. Joanne is feeling pleased after thinking back on one of their best days. Going back to customizing the print, we can also add a photo description. So I went ahead and put in the photo details, right? And I'm going to hit OK and check this out. The description that I wrote for this photo, if I view it, boom. If I view the photo like a regular piece of art, it says day at the park. Daphne loves the park. She chased squirrels, picked flowers, ate ice cream and pushed our neighbor's kid off the slide. She's an angel, I swear. So whatever I put, whatever I wrote, whatever your heart's desire, you can put that in there. And when your Sims view it, um, they will see that. And, you know, you'll remember exactly what happened when you captured that photo. So it's really cool for those of us that like are super duper in love with our Sims and have to capture everything. You can change the photo. So if you do have a Polaroid up there, you can change it to this one, but it can't be undone. But it's fine. It's, it's OK. We don't care. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so you can change it to any photo. So this is a functional object that I have to have. And you can also place this in your inventory as well, just in case you're like, ah, I don't want to lose this <laughs> ever. The next mod I added in here, because you guys asked me about this from my family dynamics challenge, I actually have like this jar that I am saving money with, with my heir and their family. So these are the three different variations. Again, this is in build mode, but I didn't want to keep going in and out of build mode for you guys. Um, we have a piggy bank, we have a jar, and then we also have this bag of money. Let's change it to Nicholas and say he wants to save money for a new bike that we don't have um we can add 60 simoleons boom he's gonna add that in there and oh wait he can't reach it i may have forgot that nicholas isn't 10 feet tall so i have to move the piggy bank guys sorry um but let's go ahead and head over here he can go to his piggy bank and he can add some money say he just got 60 dollars for the birthday or for no reason he can add that in there nicholas has to actually go all the way to the piggy bank so it's not gonna like do it behind the scenes he's gonna head over to his piggy bank and boom minus 60 simoleons from from the account and into his and because Nicholas was the one that put money into this um pinky bank that's why it's named after him so he can take his money out if he would like to say he needs to take five dollars out because he's going to Simmart and wants a piece of candy he can go ahead and take some money out and it'll be added to the household accounts now if Joanne wants to go and add some money she can't um, and if she wants to take money, she can't. It would be considered stealing honey, okay? And we don't steal from our children. So that's his piggy bank and his to keep. And the next mod, and we are almost to the end here, is something that we are looking at right now. Um, and it's these little tiny doll houses. These are actually play sets, uh, I guess, extracted from that little block set that comes, that little standing block set for kids. Instead of those big, huge, bulky doll houses that your sims have you can now just have this little tiny um set that gives them the same creativity and fun that they would get from the dollhouse and stuff i have the rocket ship and the like town uh square type of set and then the dollhouse and they come in really cool swatches just some simple swatches if it's nice and snug in the kids room and they can play and get their creativity and fun up with this and it's really nice because you don't have to waste all that space the last mod is the ink for yourself journal which is 
truly, truly um, probably one of the best like memory systems, I think, as far as personalization goes that I found as far as like little mods are concerned. It's really cool. It's a functional journal, essentially. I saw Urban Sims make a mod review off of this item and I was like, oh my gosh, I need this. I love this so much. So let's set Nicholas as the author and let us go ahead and hit edit we can put the details in here diary of a cool kid i would put diary of a wimpy kid that's my kids like favorite books all right so we have the details and if we roll over it, it says diary oh it says dairy <laughs> Dairy of a cool kid. My brain stuff. I have a typo. Don't judge me. I'm going to leave it because it's just, we're just doing this, right? We're just, whatever. I don't have the time. We can create an entry. When we create an entry, we have different little icons that we can choose that will represent our memory. So let's just say the school bus. In the memory details, this is where you are going to record your memories, notes, anything that you want to remember. But Nicholas is going to recall uh, the first day of school. So now that he created his entry, what we can do is, oops, we can go to open. You see the little bus and my description, my little entry that I have there, and we can edit it and add a moodlet. Now this was definitely embarrassing, so we're gonna choose embarrassing. It was an embarrassing memory. And let's go ahead and open this again, and we can recall the embarrassing moment. And when he thinks about it, you can see he had that embarrassing animation. He was like, ooh, yikes. And it says here, embarrassing memory. Who knows why anyone would want to relive a humiliating moment from the past? Maybe mom's asking about school, and he just thought like, ah, school's going okay. But let's go ahead and really see why it was so embarrassing. So let's have him read it. When we hit read, it it says, first day of the rest of my life. Fifth grade was easy, they said. Mom thinks I don't like her tuna sandwich. I love tuna sandwiches. But Ron Jenkins caught whiff of my sandwich and made a fool of me in the cafeteria. Now everyone calls me fish kid. As you can see, I got really like creative, right? Anyway, I think that's hilarious. I just think it's cool that it pops up like it's a part of the game. I'm going to create another entry. Let's choose this this one so we're gonna add another entry and we are going to then look he's penciling it in which i forgot to show you guys he will kind of like um the sims will pencil in their entry and then your inventory pops up and <laughs> this is great i'm gonna add a moodlet let's do a confident and let's go ahead and go to we can change the author memory details and all that but let's go ahead and read R is for revenge. Must seek revenge on Ron Jenkins for embarrassing me. I brought brownies for the class party. One with laxatives specifically for Ron. Mwahahaha. Evil laugh. Okay. <laughs> And it's just really cool and a fun way for your Sims to memorize things. And you can pass these on to your other Sims. You can have your journal in your inventory like so. And it's just really stinking cool. And that's it for the functional um, items that I absolutely love. And I think you guys will love them too because, again, they're not really like big mods, but they're just objects that you kind of can set in game and it adds a little bit of flavor to the game. And guess what mom is making? Guess what she's making? Tuna sandwich. A tuna sandwich. Y'all comment that down below. Tuna sandwich. <laughs> If this video did you a service, just comment tuna sandwich in the comments and confuse everybody because you're gonna be like, what are you what are y'all talking about? <laughs> I love you guys so much. Just keep simming always, always, always stay wavy, and I will see you in the next video. Alrighty, peace out.